Hello everyone. Today is an incredibly sad day for me. I mean, I've, I'm so torn up, I can't even tell you. I'm just trying to hold it in. Sylvester Stallone couldn't keep it together when he shared his first memories of Carl Weathers, the brilliant NFL player who changed many lives. Carl Weathers and Sylvester Stallone appeared side by side in the Rocky series and blessed Hollywood with their amazing talents and friendship. Now, after Carl Weathers' unfortunate passing, Sylvester Stallone paid him a tribute in an Instagram post, but when he was asked about it in an interview, he was incredibly torn up. American actor and NFL linebacker Carl Weather died on February 1, 2024, at the age of 76. Due to his age, the star had been experiencing health issues, and he ended up losing his life due to cardiovascular complications. Let's take a look at this life before we dive into the immense loss shared by all his colleagues and friends. Early life and football career. Carl Weathers was born on January 14, 1948, in New Orleans, Louisiana. As the son of a day laborer, he was raised in a humble background. Despite the challenges, Weathers showed promise early on, earning an athletic scholarship to St. Augustine High School as an eighth grade student. Throughout his schooling, he excelled in boxing, football, gymnastics, judo, soccer, and wrestling. After completing his education at Long Beach Poly High School in 1966, Weathers embarked on his college football career. In college, Weathers played as a defensive end. Initially, he attended Long Beach City College in 1966 but was sidelined due to an ankle injury. He then transferred to San Diego State University. There, he became a standout player for the San Diego State Aztecs, earning recognition as a letterman in 1968 and 1969. Weathers played a pivotal role in the Aztecs' success, contributing to their victory in the 1969 Pasadena Bowl. After playing college football, Carl Weathers pursued a professional football career in the NFL. Despite going undrafted, he signed with the Oakland Raiders in 1970, transitioning to the role of linebacker. Weathers played in seven games during his rookie season and even contributed to the Raiders' AFC West Division title win. The team advanced to the first-ever AFC Championship game. However, his tenure with the Raiders was short-lived. Weathers struggled with various injuries during his time with the Raiders, including knee injuries that hampered his ability to perform at his best on the field. These injuries ultimately led to his release from the team. In 1971, he transitioned to the position of strong safety, but saw limited playing time before being released by the Raiders. Despite his setback with the Raiders, Weathers didn't give up on his football aspirations. He later signed with the BC Lions in the Canadian Football League, or CFL, hoping to revive his career. However, his injuries continued to get in the way and he was unable to establish himself as a consistent player in the CFL. During his time with the BC Lions from 1971 to 1973, Weathers played in a total of 13 games. At the same time, he remained focused on his education, attending San Francisco State University during the off-seasons and earning a bachelor's degree in drama in 1974. Facing the reality of his football career being compromised by injuries, Carl Weathers ultimately retired from professional football in 1974, shifting his focus to pursue a career in acting. While his football dreams didn't pan out as he had hoped, his natural charisma, physical abilities, and determination served him well in his new career path. His experience as a football player, although quite short, provided him with valuable skills and insights that he could apply to his acting roles, particularly those requiring more physical abilities and intensity. His background in sports also helped him portray athletic characters convincingly on screen. After injuries cut short his football career, he sought out new opportunities. Using his natural charisma and athleticism, he decided to pursue acting. Breakthrough in Rocky Carl Weathers' big break came when he landed the role of Apollo Creed in the iconic 1976 film Rocky. It was directed by John G. Avildsen and starred Sylvester Stallone. Rocky tells the story of an underdog boxer, Rocky Balboa, who gets a shot at the heavyweight championship. Apollo Creed is the reigning champion who selects Balboa as his opponent for a high-profile bout. 
Weathers portrayed Creed with charm, confidence, and intensity, making him a memorable character and a perfect foil for Stallone's Rocky. Apollo Creed's character arc in the Rocky series is one of the most compelling aspects of the film. Initially presented as a cocky and nonchalant champion, Creed undergoes significant development throughout the series. He transitions from being Rocky's fierce rival to becoming his friend and ally. Carl Weathers skillfully portrayed this evolution, bringing depth and nuance to the character. Weathers' portrayal of Apollo Creed left an indelible mark on cinema history. The character became synonymous with resilience, sportsmanship, and the pursuit of excellence. Weathers' on-screen chemistry with Stallone contributed significantly to the success of the Rocky franchise, earning both actors critical acclaim and legions of fans. Weathers came back to his role as Apollo Creed in several sequels to the original Rocky film. He appeared in Rocky II, Rocky III, and Rocky IV, further cementing his status as a central figure in the franchise. Even after Creed's character arc concluded, Weathers' impact on the series endured, with references to Apollo Creed often made in subsequent films. Rise to Fame Carl Weathers' portrayal of Apollo Creed not only launched his acting career, but also left an enduring legacy in the world of sports films. His ability to bring depth and authenticity to the character solidified his place in cinematic history, earning him recognition as one of the most memorable characters in the Rocky series. He has appeared in numerous other films and television shows, including Predator, Happy Gilmore, Arrested Development, and The Mandalorian. Weathers showcased his comedic talents in this sports comedy film directed by Dennis Dugan and starring Adam Sandler. He played the character of Chubbs Peterson, a retired golfer who becomes the mentor to the titular character Happy Gilmore, played by Adam Sandler. Chubbs helps Happy harness his natural golfing talent and overcome various obstacles to compete in professional golf tournaments. His portrayal of the wise and supportive Chubbs provided memorable comedic moments and added a heart to the film. He joined the cast of the critically acclaimed Star Wars television series created by Jon Favreau. He portrayed the character Grief Karga, a former bounty hunter who becomes the leader of a bounty hunter's guild on the desert planet of Navarro. Grief Karga serves as both an ally and occasional adversary to the show's titular protagonist, The Mandalorian. His performance brought depth and gravitas to the character, earning praise from fans and critics alike. Professional relationship and friendship with Sylvester Stallone. Weathers and Stallone first worked together on the set of Rocky. They both shared excellent on-screen chemistry, which was crucial to the success of the Rocky films. Their characters, Apollo Creed and Rocky Balboa, started as fierce rivals in the boxing ring, but developed a deep respect and friendship throughout the series. Weathers' portrayal of Creed complemented Stallone's performance as Rocky, creating compelling and memorable dynamics between the characters. Beyond their professional collaboration, Weathers and Stallone have expressed mutual respect and admiration for each other's work. Stallone has spoken highly of Weathers' talent as an actor and his contribution to the success of the Rocky franchise. Weathers has praised Stallone for his dedication to the craft of filmmaking and his vision for the Rocky series. They both reunited on screen in the 2015 film Creed, a spin-off and sequel to the Rocky series. In Creed, Stallone reprised his role as Rocky Balboa, now serving as the mentor to Adonis Creed, the son of Carl Weathers' character, Apollo Creed. While Weathers did not appear in the film, his presence was felt through references and flashbacks highlighting the enduring legacy of his character in the Rocky universe. Throughout their time working together on the Rocky series, Weathers and Stallone developed a deep mutual respect for talents. Stallone, in particular, has publicly praised Weathers' performance as Apollo Creed acknowledging the vital role he played in the success of the franchise. Weathers has spoken highly of Stallone's dedication to his craft and vision for the Rocky films. On screen, Weathers and Stallone shared compelling chemistry, which was essential for portraying the complex relationship between Apollo Creed and Rocky Balboa. Despite being adversaries in the ring, their characters' interactions evolved into a deep friendship and mutual respect throughout the series. 
This dynamic was a testament to the actor's ability to convey nuanced emotions and relationships on screen. The collaboration between Weathers and Stallone in the Rocky series has left an indelible mark on cinema history. Their portrayal of Apollo Creed and Rocky Balboa has become iconic, earning them both critical acclaim and enduring popularity among audiences worldwide. The success of the Rocky franchise is, in no small part, attributed to the chemistry and performances of Weathers and Stallone, whose characters have become synonymous with determination, resilience, and the pursuit of greatness. Beyond their professional collaboration, Weathers and Stallone have maintained a friendship off-screen. Stallone has expressed fondness for Weathers and has welcomed him back for cameo appearances in various projects. For instance, Weathers appeared alongside Stallone in Creed, where Stallone reprised his role as Rocky Balboa, serving as a mentor to Adonis Creed, Apollo Creed's son. While the Rocky series remains their most prominent collaboration, they have also worked together on other projects. For instance, Weathers appeared in Stallone's action film The Expendables, alongside an ensemble cast of action stars. He also played a supporting role as Hale Caesar, a member of the mercenary team led by Stallone's character, Barney Ross. This collaboration allowed Weathers and Stallone to once again share the screen, albeit in a different context from their Rocky roles. Both Weathers and Stallone have publicly acknowledged their friendship and respect for each other. Stallone has spoken fondly of Weathers in interviews, praising his talent and contribution to the success of the Rocky franchise. He has expressed gratitude for the opportunities Stallone has provided him and has reciprocated his admiration for Stallone's work as an actor and filmmaker. Carl Weathers' Turbulent Romantic Life Carl Weathers' romantic journey, marked by love, marriages, and significant relationships, adds a personal dimension to his public persona. In 1973, Carl Weathers entered into matrimony with Mary Ann Castle, marking the beginning of his journey in love and partnership. Mary Ann, an actress and stunt woman, had made her mark in the entertainment industry with her appearances in shows like The Wild Wild West and Mission Impossible, and in films such as True Grit and Dirty Harry. Their marriage lasted for a decade, ending in 1983, but it was a significant chapter in Weathers' life, intertwining two lives deeply embedded in the world of cinema. Following his separation from Castle, Carl Weathers found love again with Rona Unsell, a former bodybuilder and fitness model. Born on February 23, 1962 in the United States, Unsell was celebrated for her muscular physique featuring in prominent fitness magazines. Their paths crossed at a gym, sparking an immediate connection that soon blossomed into a relationship. Lasting over two decades, their companionship was not just built on romantic grounds, but also on mutual interests such as fitness. Unsell played a pivotal role in maintaining Weathers' iconic muscular build, necessary for his roles in movies like Rocky and Predator. The duo's shared interest in fitness highlighted their bond, making their relationship a blend of personal and professional synergy. Carl Weathers' journey in love did not end with Unsell. In 2007, he married Jennifer Peterson, marking the beginning of another chapter in his personal life. Although their marriage was relatively short-lived, ending in 2009, it was a testament to Weathers' belief in love and companionship. Despite the reasons for their split remaining private, both Weathers and Peterson have since moved on, reflecting the transient nature of relationships in life. Carl Weathers' romantic life, marked by its highs and lows, paints a picture of a man who, despite the challenges, remained open to love and companionship. Carl Weathers performed his own stunts. Carl Weathers was always known for his athletic abilities and his playful nature. He had always preferred doing his stunts, but he didn't know that it would lead to an accident that he'll always remember. In a scene, he was meant to fall into those stunt bags that are fluffy lifesavers that are a mere two feet off the ground. But the bag wasn't snug against the wall leading our hero into a backward dive that wasn't a part of the script. His poor body got wedged in the most unfortunate way with his head on the bags and his tailbone kissing the wall. It resulted in a crunching jolt that sent shivers down his body and pain flaring like wildfire, 
but being the stoic star that he is, he brushed off the agony. In the 1996 sports comedy film Happy Gilmore, directed by Dennis Dugan and starring Adam Sandler, in the film Carl Weathers portrays the character Chubbs Peterson, a former professional golfer who becomes a mentor to the titular character Happy Gilmore played by Adam Sandler. The incident occurs when Adam Sandler, a failed hockey player with a powerful but erratic golf swing, seeks guidance from Carl Weathers to improve his golf game. Weathers, who lost his hand in an accident involving an alligator, is known for his expertise in golf despite his disability. During a practice session at a miniature golf course, Carl imparts wisdom to Sandler, teaching him how to harness his raw power and develop a more controlled golf swing. As he attempts to master Carl's advice, a playful and lighthearted moment turns into an unexpected mishap. In a comical turn of events, Carl inadvertently steps backward into a familiar hazard, an alligator pond. Despite his disability, Carl bravely confronts the alligator, attempting to assert dominance over the creature. However, the encounter takes a humorous turn when the alligator bites down on his artificial hand, causing chaos and panic. The scene is a comedic highlight of the film, showcasing Carl Weathers' talent for physical comedy and comedic timing. Weathers' portrayal of Chubbs Peterson adds depth and humor to the character, contributing to the film's overall comedic appeal. Sylvester Stallone paid tribute to Carl Weathers. Sylvester Stallone paid tribute to Carl Weathers on multiple occasions, highlighting their long-standing friendship and professional collaboration. Stallone has often spoken highly of Weathers in interviews and public appearances, praising his talent as an actor and his contribution to the success of the Rocky franchise. He has acknowledged Weathers' role in bringing the character of Apollo Creed to life and has credited him with elevating the quality of the films through his performance. He has also used social media platforms to pay tribute to Weathers. He has shared throwback photos from the Rocky set, accompanied by heartfelt captions expressing gratitude and admiration for Weathers' friendship and professionalism. These posts serve as a testament to their enduring bond and shared history of working together. He has added references to Weathers and his character, Apollo Creed, in various projects, paying homage to their collaboration in the Rocky series. For example, in Creed, Stallone's character, Rocky Balboa, reflects on his friendship with Apollo Creed, keeping his memory alive and acknowledging his impact on his life. Stallone has facilitated Weathers' involvement in some of his projects, providing opportunities for them to work together again. While Weathers did not appear in Creed, Stallone's invitation for him to participate in the film's promotion and premiere events served as a tribute to their friendship and collaboration over the years. Sylvester Stallone's emotional post about Carl Weathers' death. This is an unfortunate day for me. I'm so, so torn up I can't even tell you, Stallone, 77, shared in a Friday, February 2nd Instagram video tribute. He also said that Carl Weathers was such an integral part of his life, his success, and everything about it. He goes on to give him incredible credit and kudos because when he walked into that room and Stallone saw him for the first time, he said that he saw greatness but didn't realize how great. He said that he never could have accomplished what he did with Rocky without Weathers. In addition to praising the late actor's voice, size, power, and athletic ability, Stallone said that the actor was brilliant, most importantly in his heart and soul. He referred to Weathers' passing as a horrible loss. He gestured to the artwork behind him, which showed Weathers and Stallone competing in their last on-screen fight as Apollo Creed and Rocky Balboa, respectively, in the 1976 movie. It was probably the last moment we were ever in the ring together and I'll never forget it. He talked about a classic scene. He was magic, and I was so fortunate to be part of his life. So Apollo, keep punching. In the post caption, Stallone talked about how he lost a legend yesterday. He said that his life was forever changed for the better the day he met Carl Weathers. While on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon in an episode, Stallone, who co-starred in the franchise as Rocky Balboa, recalled the difficulty of finding someone who could play Creed. I couldn't fill that spot, the actor told the host. It required incredible athleticism, brains, spirit, talent, speed. 
Weathers, a professional football player who played eight games with the then Oakland Raiders in 1970 and 1971 before turning to acting, had it all. Sylvester Stallone went on to talk about his working relationship with Carl Weathers. He said that the first day he came in to read was actually at night, and we were at wit's end because we couldn't find anyone for the role. Weathers was still playing football at the time and arrived in a bad mood. According to Stallone, during their read together, Weathers joked, If you can get me a real actor, I can perform. After Weathers took a few shots at his head, his co-star said he was hired. Their relationship serves as a great example of how life imitates art because their relationship on screen was the same of two equally talented rivals, putting their differences apart and becoming friends for life. That's exactly what happened in real life as Carl Weathers started his acting journey. Sylvester Stallone and the rest of the world are forever going to feel this loss. What do you think about Carl? Make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment letting us know. Thanks for watching.